In this video, I'm going to show you how I prime wood panels for oil and acrylic paintings. I'll show you step by step how to protect the wood edge of your panel, how to apply the gesso, and how to create a smooth surface for your painting. Here are the supplies you'll need. I've listed them below in the description as well. If you'd like the wood edge to show for your painting, you'll need to tape the edges of the panel to protect the edge from the gesso, paint, and varnish. Before you start the priming process, be sure the tape is secured tightly along the edges so no gesso leaks through. I also like to tape the back part of the edge because if you're someone like me, you will definitely find a way to get paint or gesso on the back. Now it's time to apply the first layer of gesso. I put a touch of water in the container and added gesso in it, and then mixed it together. I found that adding a touch of water helps the gesso apply easier on the wood. Adding water is a matter of preference, so you'll just have to experiment and find the ratio of gesso to water that is best for you. I'm using a brush I used when I painted my bedroom. You can find these brushes like this anywhere that sells wall paint. Art stores also sell brushes specifically for gesso. I first apply the gesso to cover the whole surface. Then I smooth the gesso out in one direction. Be sure to angle your brush as you smooth out the gesso. This will ensure that your brush doesn't leave harsh brush strokes. And now you let the first layer dry. Usually the layers take a few hours to dry, but sometimes I even wait until the next day to do the second coat. When it's time for the second coat, you will need to first sand down the panel until it's smooth. Then brush off the dust with a dry brush. Next, you will apply the second coat of gesso. Apply it like the first coat, but this time go in the opposite direction. And just like before, you will sand down the second layer when it's fully dry. How many layers of gesso you apply is up to you. I usually apply three layers total. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you. If you are curious how to finish the back side of your artwork once you're finished creating it, I linked a video in the description that will help you. If you'd like to see more art tips like this and painting time lapses, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!